I think any time that we hear about a Mustang, we always want to know if it has a V8 in it. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys my 5.0 swapped 1996 Mustang GT. Okay, first things first. A 96 Mustang GT came with a 4.6 liter V8 and I already, it, it, it came with that one and it had a lot of problems with it. it had a lot of wiring issues. Um, the whole, um, what do you call that system? Uh, the patch system that stops the car from starting had a lot of issues with that. So we just ended up swapping a 5.0 out of a Ford Explorer and that was a really good motor. Uh, but the keyway that connects the cam and the block to the cam gear itself broke through the motor off timing uh, and basically that number one piston just blew to shreds uh, because I was beating on the car really hard so this is it already it came with a 4.6 messed that one up put another 4.6 in it didn't get that one to start put a 5.0 liter from the Ford Explorer in it blew that one up and now we have a 5.0 out of um, I think it's a 94 Mustang so the Fox body Mustang but the catch to this one is we don't have any type of computer running anything this is a carbureted swap solely because I would have to basically rewire this entire car just to get that EFI system that comes on the 5.0 to work in this Mustang just because it came with a 4.6 so we have a Ford, I think it's an 86 truck carbureted manifold, also that same stock carburetor, I just bought a new one. It's a 2150 Motocraft, runs really good, doesn't give you that much power, but like I said, it runs really good. Uh, keeps the motor safe, tuning is very easy. So instead of talking you guys to that, I'll now show you guys under the hood. Alright, so super simple setup, uh, I kept the EFI pump that comes in the tank. I just bought me a small fuel pressure regulator that comes um, with that low PSI rating for carbureted systems and I think I have it set to about 8 pounds, don't mind this gauge, the gauge doesn't work anymore. Um, the only issues I have left with this car is the alternator, it needs to change. I ordered one, hopefully it should be here soon, but like I, sa like I said, it's an 86 truck manifold and that's a 2150 Motocraft carburetor. This distributor is a HEI distributor that I got from Amazon. Fairly cheap, very easy to wire up. One wire for the battery, one wire for the tack. You can tell from the top here. Let's see if I can get that in. So this is the battery wire, that's the tack wire. Very simple to hook up. Uh, this is a vacuum advanced distributor. That's actually what you need when you go carbureted. And this is a shroud fan that's onto a, I think this is a four core radiator. Um, other than that, wiring wise, it was pretty simple. One wire from the starter to a button inside, one wire to the fuel pump, one wire to the distributor. I have the fan and also the excite wire for the alternator running off of the distributor's hot wire. And that doesn't take away from it at all. Let's get a battery in this thing and get it started up so you guys can hear it. Like I said, this one does run, it does drive really well, but the reason why it doesn't idle when it's cold is because I took out the entire choke. I was having a lot of issues with that manual choke and I actually broke the linkage for the choke on the back end. Um, I was going to put an electronic choke on it so that it works flawlessly and doesn't have any issues, but I ended up breaking that linkage. So we don't have any choke. Whenever I want to drive it, I just get in and I start driving. Uh, when it warms up, then it idles pretty good. But let me show you guys how I start it up and what I have on a switch. Here we are. So put the key in the ignition. 
And let me turn the switches off so you know what they're for. When I turn that key on, you hear that beeping. Okay, beeping has stopped. This is my temp gauge, it's aftermarket. I have it um, in the bottom hose for the radiator. This one will be for the fuel. This one will be for the distributor and the fan. And this one will be to start it. But if you notice, it doesn't start right away. So what I do is I give it one, two, three pumps of fuel, crank it. she shuts off but like I said that's normal that's because I don't have a choke installed on it all right guys that's basically it when it comes to my 96 uh, 5.0 swapped Mustang it's carbureted has a t5 transmission stock rear end stock gearing in the rear end um, four core radiator 2150 motorcraft carburetor fuel pressure regulator small things to pick up on eBay or Amazon and it's very easy to do um, anyone can do this really this is one of the easiest things I've ever done to a car uh, it took some time to figure out just because not a lot of people do it because they can swap that EFI system over but uh, if you want to get rid of all that security problems that you might have with any one of these Mustangs this is the easiest way to go um, thank you guys so much for watching if you do like videos like this I have every single video that I've made a modification to this car or I've done something to this car right on my YouTube channel. And if you like things like this, consider subscribing. And that's about it guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.